I love. Okay, if you have been falling sick a lot lately, or you have been on antibiotic therapy, or you abuse antibiotics, those of us that take one flagell every day once you have a stomach upset, you need to start taking probiotics. You find yourself bloated most of the times, or you have an ulcer, or you have skin issues. It's time you start taking probiotics immediately. What are probiotics and prebiotics? Probiotics are food and supplements that help to improve and maintain the normal flora. When I say normal, normal flora, I mean the good bacteria in our gut. It's basically we have we get it from food and then it comes in supplements but let's just get something out of the way we do not it's not like the supplements are bad for you but according to some researches that have been done supplements probiotic and probiotic supplements were found to be harmful in immunosuppressed patients so most times or for the purpose of this video we are going to basically discuss the probiotics and prebiotics that are found in food bear it in mind that probiotics and prebiotics are very very important in the sense that if you have been eating bacteria bad bacteria infected food or you have been eating overly acidic food and you need to rebalance your gut. When I say your gut, I mean your GIT, your gastrointestinal tract. You need to rebalance it. You need to introduce more normal flora, more good bacteria into your gut. Because normally in the gut, we have lactobacillus, enterococci. Those are the normal bacteria that are supposed to be. But when those bacteria are distorted, you now see Helicobacter pylori, which causes cancers and stomach ulcers. Those are the time you start having problems. So the, the benefit of this probiotics and prebiotics introduction into our food or diet or meal plan is to ensure that you maintain a good environment in your gut that will help to breed good biotics. Because once your gut is healthy, you are rest assured that you would be healthy. What are the benefits of probiotics and prebiotics? Although I've talked a little bit about this when I was trying to tell you what probiotics and prebiotics are all about, but you order to simplify it and then make you understand very well what we are talking about. I'm going to just talk about like four of the benefits, but believe me that the benefits of probiotics are still very numerous. Number one, if you find yourself always having indigestion, you find it got to digest the food you eat, probiotics will help you to digest your food easily. Secondly, if you are bloated, you have built up of gases, build up of gases in your stomach you will stop experiencing it once you introduce probiotics rich food into your diet then probiotics is very crucial in the healing of stomach ulcers because when you introduce those good bacteria into your system it displaces the helicobacter pylori and this will in turn help you to build normal flora in your stomach and when there is no helicobacter pylori, what is causing stomach ulcer again? Nothing. Now, if you have skin issues, of course, I've told you that if you have a healthy gut, that all other parts of your body are going to follow suit. So if you have a healthy gut, you will definitely have a healthy skin. So now we are going to get into the food that contains probiotics and prebiotics look we have been blessed each people and culture are blessed with food that contain probiotics and probiotics it's not left, left for you to find them out in your locality 
wherever you are you're in america you're in asia you're in africa for instance the asians are well blessed they are very well blessed with food rich in probiotics and prebiotics take for instance the asian ningchua daochi and the rest they have a lot of food that are probiotic rich now what about us nigerians you will be surprised that plenty of food in nigeria have probiotics and prebiotics what are the food in nigeria that contain probiotics number one iru i don't know what you call it in your place we call it oba in Igbo, but the yoruba has called it iru it should be african locust beans i should i will be able i will put the name on the screen doing editing african locust beans basically probiotic food are food that undergo fermentation just think about any food that undergo fermentation you have your gari cassava apple abacha um locust beans opaka we call it opaka i don't know what you call it in your place we call it opaka your pap the pap ogi Yoruba has called it ogi we call it akamo i don't know if it's what we call it but i know we call it akamo in this part of nigeria we have things basically different food that contain probiotics now what are the food that contain prebiotics you'll be surprised what you already know is just to eat this food more when you talk about prebiotic rich food you have garlic banana tomatoes all these food they contain prebiotics so i'm going to leave a list of food that contain prebiotics and list of that contains probiotics on the screen so you know what you're dealing with here are the food containing prebiotics in nigeria and on this side you have food that containing probiotics in nigeria so here is wishing you good health good vibes more money we have gotten to the end of this video please stay glued to this channel and i don't understand people that have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like this video if you like it comment all those good stuffs don't forget and i will see you in my next one bye